evening. Right, I know it's been a while, <coughs> but uh, I have been busy. But I'm not doing one, I'm not doing two, but I'm going to do three reviews for you today. First of all, uh, I need to explain this, this particular one. I work for a duty-free company, and every six, five or six months, <coughs> we have a, um, a staff sale where we can buy obviously bits that would normally be on the planes etc and uh, we get them for a very good price now this is actually I have a plan, and it's as hot as my pants. <laughs> sorry that's my phone going off um, anyway um, basically we have like the staff sale and we can get usual bits but we can't buy things like fags and stuff because that's just pointless but we can get things like watches glasses etc <clears throat> Occasionally alcohol, a lot of perfumes, a lot of sunglasses, watches, uh, electrics, toys, you know, that sort of stuff. And then uh, all that goes to our Christmas party where my boss goes and gets incredibly drunk <coughs> and uh, makes a complete fool of himself, as apparently he did on Friday, but mum's the word. Anyway, so today's one is and something I am very chuffed that I managed to pick up, which are these. These are called immortal sunglasses, but these are no ordinary ones because these, as you can see, in a minute, hang on. As you can see, probably right there in the middle is a is a um, little video camera lens. Uh, yeah, these are video camera sunglasses. Now, I know they don't look it, but these do actually have interchangeable lenses. I've just taken them out so I could show you. But basically, this just pulls off, which is a bit fiddly, but it can be done. Hang on. Told you it was fiddly. Needless to say, it does come out. Uh, I'm going to have to have another go at this. Hang on. There you go. So the lenses come out, so basically you're just left with the frame. And then all you literally do is just get the new piece. And this is, again, this bit can be a bit fiddly, but if you can get it lined up just right, it will all be. Uh, hang on. Oh, come on, you worked yesterday. Basically, this is what they would then turn into, obviously, but with the lens put in properly. So, uh, what can I tell you about these? Well, going by the instruction guide, it says, <coughs> yeah, it says that. So, basics. So, you have a little recording switch on the side, which is here. Uh, it'll obviously give you a little light on the inside to actually show you that it's running, which is on the arm. <clears throat> There's a reset button for the usual stuff. Uh, mini USB socket, which is here. And then in here, you've got the micro SD card, which is in this case an 8 gig one. Uh, seven is. The microphone is apparently up on the top. I'll take word for it on that one. Uh, interchangeable lenses, polarized black and clear. And it comes with the case which is just a standard case, nothing fancy about that. Um, an 8 gig micro SD card, which is actually in that room. Um, and then you get the adapter that goes with it. Mains charger, I'll just show you inside the box. Mains charger, USB cable, one clear lens, the cleaning glove, and this user guide. Now the basics for this, the actual spec, I'll run through really quick. Uh, it has a 120 by 100, no. 1280 by 720 HD camera, a 3 megapixel pinhole CMOS camera uh, with a recording speed of 30 frames per second, angle of view is 60, 63 degrees, video format is H.264, if that means anything to anyone. Uh, it does it, it records in MOV, fi, MOV format and it will play on QuickTime and RealPlayer. Um, I have actually done a quick bit of videoing, which I'm going to include, show in a minute, of what the actual uh, display comes up. Uh, it's a USB 2 power supply is an embedded 500 mAh lithium polymer battery 
lasts for about an hour and a half. Supports the micro, the external memory supports the up to 32 gig maximum. Works up to 40 degrees and down to minus five. Product size when folded, which I'm assuming is close the arms, is 153 by 68 by 42 millimeters and it's 62 grams in weight. Um, so I am going to uh, show you the video of what I took when I was using these yesterday. Well, this is the view from the camera glasses. Let's just adjust them. And as you can see, that's me in the window. Mirror, I mean. Not the most amusing view, but you know, I don't know. How clear that's coming out, but right. So basically, that's the video type of um, well, the quality of the video they you know, actually will play. Um, I had to convert this deliberately because my netbook, which I'm currently recording on doesn't like anything that's quick time and personally I can't stand quick time anyway I prefer come here I prefer mp4 because it's just simpler it's just a whole lot easier just to use um, and it just compresses things easier and it, it it's like mp3 basically but the video version of it um, these glasses are 300 pound each I got mine for 30 and there were three pairs of these I got one and my cousin got the other two which he's given he's kept one for himself and he's given the other one to his brother but basically this is what they look like on so as you can see the arms are a bit chunky but to be fair you know if you want to look like a member of the Squirtle squad or the Terminator from Terminator 1 then go for it I plan on keeping these and I'm gonna be using them for when I go bike riding which will hopefully be soon I uh, don't know when that's going to happen but um, I worked it out that the actual video recording time is about an hour um, because of the memory card I've got I actually did uh, three video recordings on this at the time and they came to about um, I think it's about 15 minutes worth of video time and it had taken up 320 megs worth of space so all in all, it's not actually that bad. And when you think about it, all it is is just, yeah, a tiny little camera. I mean, that is, let's see if I can show you. That camera is literally just like a pinhole. And it works brilliantly. So, like I said, I'm going to use them when I go riding. And then when I go on holiday, I'm going to take it with me. So if I don't want to take my camera with me, then all I have to do is just put them on. And I'm perfectly fine. So, if you can get a, get a pair of them, and you're very active and such well done for you for being active more than I am um, I would strongly suggest going and getting a pair if you've got the money to splash or you can get a couple on eBay I have found a few that are relatively cheap um, but obviously those those ones were auction the rest of them were all about the same price so I won't be selling these not for a while anyway uh, but by that point you would have picked up your own pair so Mm. Um, right, so I'm curious. Oh, yeah, didn't notice you got the, the uh, little in car charger, so I can actually take in. Oh, that's all right. I actually looked at this box properly. I literally picked it up last Friday, and that's probably the first time I've actually looked at it. Oh. So, like I said, immortal sunglasses, very worth having. Good little bit of kit, brilliant video requ uh, quality. Hasn't let me down in the four times I've used it since yesterday. Um, I haven't got a link for one, but if I do find one, I will put it on there. And uh, I will be back with review number two. So, back in a bit.